Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see all of you here and our today's class will be about painting watercolor portraits and you easily can turn your own picture or picture some of your close friends into a painting. So let's get started and if you like my class, please subscribe, thumbs up. So during our today's class, I want to teach you how to create watercolor portraits. So, and first of all, we will start our class with creating our texture paper what we usually do, so I need to be on a new layer that is above everything and now I'm gonna go insert the file and I have a textured paper that I'm gonna insert now and guys don't worry, I will add the paper, I will add brushes to the description of our class. Okay, paper and now let's move to the corners, our paper, great. Next step, I'm gonna go and duplicate uh, our paper. Now group, and that's it. So uh, I'm gonna, I'll show you our reference picture. And this is beautiful girl. I found this picture on the website Unsplash. And I grab black color and in sketching set HB pencil. So let's start tracing. Guys, be careful with tracing because probably later we will use uh, our sketch layer, we will not delete that, so it's very important. Well, cool. So we have our reference picture that is here, we have our sketch layer, and we created a new layer that is below our texture papers. It's very important, guys. It should be below. I'm gonna go and grab my Boo Marshmallow watercolor brush for that. And this picture, our reference picture, we will use as a color palette. And I'm gonna tell you how to do that. And if you need to grab some color, we need to press this button and after pick the color, drag and pick one that you like, probably this one. And let's start adding all those shades. And if you need to, if you overlap some uh, parts, uh, don't worry, just grab a blending tool and blend it nicely. And also, guys, we have some wide blank spaces. And for that, I'm gonna go grab a razor. shade from this side and also guys one more option for you if you like to paint something like the portraits in cartoony style not a real watercolor portraits you have one option so for that I'm going to duplicate our sketch layer turn off one layer and after that I go press liquify uh, move to expand increase the size and you can just tap I like that
Also we have shade right in the eye because it's not totally white. I think you know that already from my previous classes. visit colors it's fine because some areas are darker some lighter grab blending tool and let's blend all of it Let's add some shades and you have two options. First option is you're gonna go and grab our brush and keep adding some shades, different color variations. And the other option is pretty, it's pretty simple one. So we go to our magic wand and after, no, before that, we actually go to the selection tool, grab free hand and I'm gonna go and start with a face. Like that and after that feather and feather that slightly, maybe 3%. And after hue saturation and brightness, and you can lower the opacity, play with saturation. You can also play with color variations. But for me, my color is pretty fine. And darken that slightly. And now we have shade. And if you have some gaps, you see them, just use blending tool. So same we'll do with the rest of her uh, face selection tool. If you want to saturate actually the whole picture, uh, you will just need to duplicate that and you see it's pretty saturated and guys, you have two options, you can actually lower the opacity, make it less saturated, more saturated, up to you. I do like the saturation what we have right now, so I will merge two layers together. Now I want to add some shades to the sweater. it slightly like that and after blending 
to and after that add add Saturation and brightness. Increase the saturation, lower the brightness. And if you want, you can blend some uh, edges if you think they're too sharp. Once again, I didn't use a feather because I want to blend it by myself. and brightness, lower the opacity, increase the brightness and that's cool. Okay, perfect. Now I want to highlight some areas once again. Add, add, add. Add, and after that feather, use saturation brightness and now increase the opacity. Once again, make it more saturated. I think that's cool, like that blending tool and blend some areas okay and for painting details I went to the set that is called drawing that is custom set and you go and grab cloning brush and let's keep adding details Okay, so you're done with our portrait. Now let's add some decoration. So now we will turn off our uh, reference picture. And our next step is I want to add some flowers to our painting. And for that, I decided to use uh, this reference picture. So what we need to do is we will turn off our painting and we'll turn off our sketch layer. And now let's trace that pretty fast. Did 
pretty layers are just below our textured paper my Boo Marshmallow watercolor brush and let's keep adding colors Great, now let's uh, duplicate it, lower the opacity and after merge together and let's keep adding some uh, shades. So as you might see, we have our girl. It's pretty lovely, but as I told you, I want to keep uh, that uh, sketch layer as I'm gonna do the same with our flower, with our floral. So in this way, I will merge two layers together. Cool. And same we did with our floral. But guys, as you might see, uh, our floral is pretty transparent because it's what color. So I'm gonna create a trans. Uh, I'm gonna make it not transparent, and in this way, what I'm gonna do is I will select this thing, and after copy and paste. Now I will go and grab white color, press select, and after fill layer. So now it's white, once again. So colors are not overlapping each other. And now I will merge two layers together. And now we can play around with our decoration. So I will duplicate it many, many times. So I'll do the same with our girl. So I will duplicate our layer. And after second layer, I will press select and fill layer. And after that merge together our layers and now we can place our florals behind our portraits and, and everything would be fine. I like the feeling, I like how it looks right now and guys, I think we, we've done with our painting. I hope you enjoyed my today's class and now you know how to create watercolor portrait of your own, your friends, any person you like and so keep going and I hope my class was useful, please, if you like that, thumbs up, subscribe and let's see each other later.